you are a great artist. I believe in Jackson Pollock. And there's you and there's the painting and you, you need, you need, you need, you need. Marsha Gay Harden won an Oscar for her role as artist Lee Krasner opposite Ed Harris in the movie Pollock. Turns out Harden is quite the artist herself, both on screen and off. Seth Doan has a Sunday profile. Ah, that's so hard. This is one Marsha Gay Harden role you may not be familiar with, amateur potter. I'm a practical potter, so I like to do things that, that you can use. The Oscar and Tony award-winning actor had come on vacation with her kids, Eulela, Julita, and Hudson Harden Scheel, to Faenza in Italy, where local artisans have been making ceramics since the first century BC. The main thing our teacher said to us was, calma, calma, because we're all Americans, so we're like, hurry it up. Harden's love of pottery began in the 1990s in New York while in a Broadway show. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get smaller at the top, and that means you have to learn to pull the clay in a bit. I feel like we're peeking under the Christmas tree right now. <laughs> totally. Hold on. Yep, that's me. At Faenza Art Ceramic Center, they were Look, revealing a week's nice. work. I like the lead. And yeah. another side of Harden. When I think of my mom, I think of her in her, you know, clay-covered pants and bandana and, like, some old sweatshirt, you know, throwing pots and, and sort of being that, like, down-to-earth person that we know intimately. What's your mom like as a mom? When we started asking about her, she was just off camera. <laughs> Marsha, you go away. <laughs> she was right there. <laughs> Go ahead, guys. <laughs> what is she like Hands as a mom? <laughs> it's that playful side, they say, that often does not come across right, in her roles. I used to say, because I'm brunette, you always cast brunettes as a serious woman. It's not necessarily true, but I just think I've been cast in a way that has a lot of gravitas. Harden got her break playing the femme fatale in the 1990 film Miller's Crossing, opposite Gabriel Byrne. Admit you don't like me seeing Leo because you're jealous. Admit that you've got a heart, even though it may be small and feeble. The Coen brothers gave you a chance for the world to see what you could do. There, they opened a door. They gave me a chance to play. You know, you want to be seen. And I think that's one of the best gifts we can give to somebody is to see them. I see you. And she's been seen a lot. I see the head. She won her Oscar for portraying Lee Krasner in Pollock. You're not just randomly putting paint on the canvas. You're painting something. She got the Tony for God of Carnage on Broadway. I told you, Michael, everything's for sale. Now. On TV, she's been a socialite, a hard-edged reporter. I'm writing the piece, Fred. Whether it's good for you or bad for you, I don't know yet. But there's nothing you can do about it either way. There have been crime dramas, medical dramas. Feel that little thing wiggling around like a worm trying to get away? Okay, that's a crowded artery. Your finger is now the only thing keeping that man alive. Been just drama dramas. You've done a lot. I do. I'm a bit of a workaholic. Can you remember all these parts no. that you've played? Hell no. Have you ever counted them up? Hell no. I think I'm not interested. Is that awful? What do you mean? Once it's done, it's done? Yeah. Your Honor, dismissing this lawsuit... She's now on to her next role, lawyer Margaret Wright in CBS's So Help Me Todd. They're trying to scare us, but we don't scare. Oh, Todd, I have that huge presentation. We were on the set in Vancouver as they were shooting season two. I like that she is um, hoity-toity and flawed at the same time. In the series, Hardin's character hires her son to be a private investigator for her firm. I feel ridiculous. Oh. You look fantastic. Just keep telling yourself that. Why do I let you talk me into these things? Family drama and a fair share of mishaps ensue. There's a lot of physical comedy in this role. Isn't it fun? I love the physical comedy. For me, it's a blast. Oh God, don't come here, Mama. After a cut is finished, I just feel I can hear someone going, shameless, shameless, like I have to go. What do you mean it was too much? <laughs> what do you mean falling over the chair and showing my panties was too much? You know what I mean? Like, it was, well, was it funny? Was it funny? 
Until now, that side of Hardin's personality has largely been reserved for her off-screen life. This is the first time I've sort of opened up my private life to so Why? many people. Why? Um, to protect me and my kids, because it seems more like a celebrity than an actor. Maybe, what do you mean to by me. that? What's the distinction? Well, an actor works. An actor has a script. An actor approaches the role. A celebrity is sort of, it's, it's who they are. It's their life. And to me, they don't really need to go together. It, what drives me is because it's right, because yeah. what is happening right now is wrong. But Hardin has been uncharacteristically public about her family recently, sharing during a televised fundraiser that all three of her kids identify as queer. For which I've been accused of being a groomer. You know, wouldn't we all be so lucky we could just groom our little children to be whatever? Like, it's such as if people's gender identities are able to be manipulated. My eldest child uses they them pronouns and my son is gay and my youngest daughter, I would say is fluid, understands loving a human being. So I love that about them. It's, but it was a process for you. It's a process to be the parent I wanna be in it. So what guides you, how did you? They, they guide me and my love of them guides me because what's the alternative? Will you be who you are and go outside of this house then? Where'd my kids go? Hardin divorced in 2012 from director Thaddeus Scheel. Now 64, she calls herself a single mom. This is also what I always have for... From what we saw, the I role of caregiver comes naturally. Hand. Chocolates for the TV crew in her fake office. When I come back after a week or two and they're empty, I feel so happy. They can be long days of shooting, and she's on location, sometimes for months. You finished last night at 11.30 at night, and you could have, in theory, come we here. We did stop by. Are you kidding you me? Yeah, we came by. So she finds community in something familiar. People are like real artists here. A local pottery studio in Vancouver. You've got your initials here. I do. Yeah. I, my um, daughter gave me this stamp that I have. Cool, you're online. Yeah, coming to you soon. <laughs> right, exactly. What is it, QBR? We're now on QBC. Right. QBC. <laughs> Marcia Gay Harden does put her own stamp on whatever she does, even if it means removing a bit of herself in the process. I like to garden. I like to do pottery. These are slightly isolationist things to do. Because otherwise, I do think one can start worrying too much about what they all think, right? What people say about me and did they like my whatever. It's not me.